Hello everyone. First thing I should mention that this video was a viewer's wish. So as always, leave comments, hit me up on Facebook or my Discord server or other such places if you wish to make other wishes and requests as well. Terms, conditions, exclusions and the wrath of God apply. <laughs> but in all seriousness, as long as it's a reasonable video request, I will do my best to accommodate. So I'd set a sort of poll, not much interaction since I'm a small YouTuber, but it seems that for the most part, nobody has heard of this fascinating shield design. It's called the Targoni, as per the title of my video, but it's really peculiar because it is both a weapon and a shield at the same time, but not in the same way as the judicial dueling shields. I might do a video on them at another time, but they are shields that have hooks and spear bits and were used for judicial duels. Whereas this, the Targoni, was actually used for a game, almost like a reenactment, but it's hard to call it reenactment since it's... You can't be reenacting something that is a current event. This was happening with medieval battle style, but in the medieval period, which is the best part. So when I have a look at the sort of attempts at sources, I should secondly mention a bit of an apology. I have thin information since a lot of details are in Italian, but I've done my best to grab what information I could. So, with one of our sources that we've got, which is a tourism site, it mentions that the there was a game that the Targoni is from, which is called the Giocco del Ponte. Now, I apologise if I'm not very good at Italian. I do a lot of Italian-style sword fighting from Fiore di Liberi, and his, you know, learn all kinds of things like the Tata Porta di Ferro and the... Uh, Dente de Zengia and all that stuff, but truthfully I'm just hitting people rather than actually learning Italian. But anyway, I digress, and we'll have a lot of digression on purpose because, again, I've got thinner information. But when we look at the Giocco del Ponte, the website that we've got here and others mention the game dates back to a game that's called the Giocco del Mazzacudo, again, probably don't pronounce it right, from apparently from the 11th to 13th centuries, which was, like I mentioned, a sort of reenactment or simulated battle in the Piazza del Degli Anziani. And it basically had players with armour, clubs, and shields. Although it sounds like the original older version, this older game, actually had mainly had clubs and shields in the standard what you'd imagine sense, as in having a one-handed weapon and a shield. But the later version we're going to have a look at here, and it mentions the... Well, this website here mentions the first known edition of Giocco del Ponte dates back to 1568, but I'm sure there were some other places that mentioned... Yes, there was, well, okay, the Mazakudo, that older game, was carrying on until it was well, allegedly banned by the Florentines after the occupation of Pisa, where it takes place, in 1407. And it seems like it was a game that changed a lot. And one of the reasons why it was quite difficult to research, actually, is because the Giocco del Ponte sort of exists today, but it's completely different in that you have people in a traditional dress but they're doing what almost seems like a sort of tug of war type of event so it's completely different to the battle with shields clubs or cub shields that you saw historically so it seems to have changed and had different iterations through the centuries even more so than when you look at stuff like military saber and sword fighting turning into things like sport fencing today you could say that's completely different but this is to the point where it doesn't even vaguely resemble what it used to be um but it does have mentions about uh the sorts of equipment that was used so when we look at there's an excerpt from a a publication called a rare armor for the giocco del ponte which includes 
research by a Walter J. Kurczewski and Donald J. LaRocca, mentioning in a brief sort of summary that they independently researched but then collaborated together later, and it discusses brightly painted European helmets and cuirasses, so kind of like your Renaissance type of armour that you might see in pike and musket types of formations back in actual warfare. And it mentions about things like outdated armour sometimes being used or actual purpose-built armour for the event. And in that particular source, it mentions that defences consisted of the helmet and breastplate, I mean, sorry, cuirass. Additionally, it mentions a leather jacket and quilted cloth, including things like padded gauntlets. So it sounds like there was a proper sort of, almost like we use in historical European martial arts today, there is a good degree of protective equipment. So it's sort of done in a reenactment. So there's more full contact expected, but not necessarily with huge numbers of casualties or anything too violent going on. But it's difficult to see any surviving examples because even when I look, when I tried to look for original historical examples, the earliest I could find that was dated was a Targoni from the Met Collection, which is the United Kingdom, I do believe, if it's the one I'm thinking of. And it has a Targoni shield from Pisa, which is dated to 1807. So, of course, that's around 400 years after the original sort of mock combat that was going on. Uh... But it is interesting that when you look at that sort of yellow and white striped shield that it has got, it shows a depiction, so it's a, a more recent shield that depicts what could well have been the original game. So showing that people would have their helmets and, bre and cuirasses and their padding on the rest of their bodies, wielding a shield that is also a club at the same time. And that's the thing that makes the Targoni such a, a curious weapon. You could hold it like a sort of a two-handed club from the bottom, or the versions that I've seen, at least from later, seem to have a sort of a handle, so you use it like you'd expect of a standard sort of kite shield. So I don't know whether that means you would have formations where you could swap between the two, or whether you'd have people just independently in more of a kind of a one-on-one -on -one dueling mix-up type of thing. But usually these sorts of games, when they happen for long enough, you get proper tactics going on. I mean, you know, you even have things like the Cornish sort of cheese chasing events where people strategize around that, apart from the general chaos. But um, when we look at other details, it does seem to say that there's this Mazakudo game, which then is sort of the old original game, which then evolved into the Gioco del Ponte, the first version, which kept its name, it seems, and then kept going until modern times, but has changed significantly since then. And it seems that the occupation of Pisa by the Florentines was a turning point when the game took its name change, presumably because of social and political changes. Again, it's difficult to research this without having a knowledge of Italian. In fact, if there are any of you viewers who could assist me, it'd be good if we could try and grab someone like uh, Raffaello Urbani, also known as the Metatron, since he is a native Italian speaker, I do believe. So it would be worth trying to see if further research could be done in this, because it seems like a really interesting shield design, even if the modern game is just, uh, in my opinion, boring, just sort of a tag, you know, tug of war type of thing with this cart on a bridge and just trying to get it to the other side, which is nothing like the original game. The information about the original game really seems like a fascinating study to look into as a sort of, again, like a, a reenactment, but actually happening, happening during the medieval times themselves. So from there, uh, yeah, the information gets pretty thin from there on. There are a few versions of that Targoni shield 
and there are a few vague details about what the original games were like, but it seems like a lot of information about the equipment has been lost to history, and even how the game was played itself, what tactics and strategies, the rules and such things. Although I did notice one we one website mentioned that there was sort of a bit of a ritual going on where you'd have a ambassadors who'd sort of parade, then they'd start their official declaration, then the battle, so to speak, would then begin, and then you'd have the two sides from different what seems like different sides of the city would then have their teams formed up and go at it. Yes, really interesting. And obviously, since it is such thin information, there also aren't in bits of information mentioning the style of fighting. So that's something that I will wish to potentially research into in the future, because I have studied various types of combat from the medieval period. However, there's nothing especially close to how this shield could have been used, especially transitioning between using it as a shield and using it as a club, because you could have things like peasant staff using a heavier kind of club-like weapon in combat. That could be a sort of style that would be used when the shield is club used, or you could have the item used as a shield on its own and think in a formation sense. You're just sort of holding a line defending people as a shield bearer or something along those lines but whether people transition whether they'd have a dedicated role they stick to the you know role that they stick to the entire time that information i have not found anything on uh, so again it's something i apologize again that i've got such thin information on this but even with the multiple sources it's difficult to find any information however i hope this was interesting and at least gives you a new direction to perhaps research into if you wish to look more into it and maybe some encouragement to people like Raffaello Urbani. Hel hello if you are watching this right now. Good to see you, I guess, or not see you. <laughs> Hopefully a bit of encouragement and a push to have some further research, especially from native Italian speakers, to go further into this and really research into the details of the Targone so we can have something really cool to look into, just like the Judicial Dueling Shields, which were really fascinating because the Judicial Dueling Shields had double-ended spears, they had proper sort of tall shields to hide behind, so there was a bit of spear, quarterstaff fighting with their hooks around the sides, they were used for things like halberd or other sort of polack style hooking and throwing and all this kind of stuff and the way you could grapple almost like unarmed combat. So even with that, something that seems like a really obscure weapon had some really fascinating insights into medieval combat in its most unusual forms. And I reckon that we could see a similar scenario with the Targoni. It's not as flexible a weapon. It's basically just a shield or a club as opposed to the judicial dueling shield, which is spear, shield, halberd grappling things or do all kinds of things of it all in one but I, I think there is still more we can learn about the Targoni and if possible if there are any actual treatises showing how to fight with a Targoni that would be really useful especially for looking at crossing over into things like peasant staff with those giant clubs so I hope that was interesting and I shall see you in the next video, possibly one of my own, or possibly a viewer's wish. ta for now!